Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So it's a beautiful Monday morning. We got a nice collection of snow on the ground for being April 18th. Uh, as you can see, Saturday for plow day, it was beautiful out. Then all of a sudden we got this Indiana weather crap again and we've got snow on the ground. So uh, anyways, that just answered a big question that's been asked. Where am I from? Well, I'm from Indiana. We deal with the moodiest weather, I think, around. So anyways, what we're going to do this morning is we're going to get our Moxie haul truck unloaded off the trailer. We brought it home Friday night because the uh, while we were using it up on the river to move riprap, the radiator developed a hole in the middle of the radiator core. So uh, I'm going to get it unloaded off the trailer here. I'm going to get it up to the shop. Uh, we're going to pressure wash it really good because there is antifreeze all over the place. And if anybody's ever worked in antifreeze, it is sticky. So we're going to go ahead and wash that up. Then we'll get in the shop and get the hood off of it. And we'll get that radiator pulled out and uh, get it over to our buddy Doug and see if he can fix it. So let's get started. I'm going to use our hot water pressure washer to get all that nasty antifreeze off under this hood. I mean, it ended up everywhere under there. Everything's sticky. I got quite a bit of washing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this washed up. We'll get her in the shop. Okay, so now that we got it in the shop, we uh, got the uh, hood out of the way. We were going to take the hood completely off, but we just took the uh, stop cables off and uh, we let the hood go more 90 degrees and that got it out of the way. Now, if the grill was good on it, we wouldn't have done this because the grill kind of smashes into the brackets down here. But uh, this grill was smashed prior to us getting the truck, so it's no big deal. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, take, there's a bolt down in here, one on each side. There's a bracket up there we're going to take off. And then we're going to take all the, well, we're going to take all the hoses off, of course. But actually, it doesn't take much to get the radiator out of this truck. So it's a pretty simple deal. So I'm going to go get some tools, get the hoses off, and then we'll get the bolts out and pull her out. So we got to get these uh, uh, intercooler boot clamps off right here. First time I've seen an inter boot, intercooler boot clamp with an Allen head bolt in it. But this is a skein diesel. So it is, I believe it's like Swedish or European. So maybe these are part of that. 
usually they're always uh, just a hex bolt. There's one over here I got to get. Might as well take it off both ends. There I got it. Uh, you can reach it a little better than I can. Yeah, the strength's on the other side. I don't know if that boot's going to do what we want it to do. Here. tape that somebody made. Well, we're under the truck now. We're going to lower the belly pan or open it, I guess. It's hinged. And, uh, because we got to get to the drain for the antifreeze. And it's on the oil cooler, actually. So I got the nuts off the bolts already. Dad's gonna lower it down the floor jack. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, so I'm gonna stay out of the way. It's gonna swing down, but I'm not sure how full of dirt it might be. So it's just best to stay out of the way. Full water and antifreeze. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of hardware in there. So now, now we can get to the uh, oil coolers under there and we can drain the water out of the truck now so we can finish pulling the radiator hose off. Well, we got the antifreeze draining now. It's kind of interesting. It's got this handy little valve on it. You just open and close it with a screwdriver. Kind of didn't expect it to have that. It had a hose on it, but the hose is completely plugged up with mud and crap, so I had to cut the hose off. And apparently, somehow, the valve was already on, so it started spraying antifreeze all over the place. It don't seem like it's got much in it. it. Must have lost a lot through the radiator. Well, now that the bottom hose is off, the rest of the hoses are all off. We've got two more bolts on each side that we're going to take out, and then we're going to pull the radiator out. And as you can see, Wilson doesn't seem to care that we're working around him, and he's in our way. Ow. Yeah. He's got a collar now. He thinks he's a tough guy. And his collar's even got reflectors on it, so he doesn't get run over outside in the dark. Okay, let's take those two more bolts out and get it pulled out. Okay, now we're going to try to pick it out.
So now we're stripping off everything off the radio that's not needed, like the brackets and stuff, because we don't, these are not needed to be, for it to be checked, and it's just less stuff to carry around. We'll get the fan trout all off. Too small. It's kind of hard working one handed. So, dad strength's working on the other side. So, it's kind of a big empty hole in there without a radiator in it. These fan blades have been into the radiator at one time. I think that happened when the front grill got smashed. I don't know what exactly happened there, but it happened before we even got the truck. So, might be something we have to straighten out while we're in here. Well, we got everything stripped off the radiator, and there's some spots in it that aren't too promising, or maybe those were fixed before. This looks like a pretty nasty spot right there. Uh, there's a spot there. So, we're going to take it over to Doug and and the shroud's all chewed up. We're gonna take it over to Doug. He's got a tank that he'll actually pressurize the radiator, drop it in the water, and then he'll be able to find where all the uh, bad spots are in it. Hopefully it's just one bad spot. But uh, the intercooler looks fine. I mean, it's not all chewed up. There's nothing through it. So if there's nothing through it, it wasn't something that come through the grill and poked it. So uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for now. So, uh, We'll uh, get that radiator over there, and we got some other stuff we're going to go do today. So, uh, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll do a video when we get the radiator back and uh, put it back in. So, thank you for watching.